Okay, so this past week we had two conferences. We had one with Alex Garlatos and the other conference we had was um, with Glenn Klausner and we talked about his ability of being a medium even though he said he was not in a very great mood due to the family emergency he said he wouldn't be able to get really into any readings but he still somehow did it for us anyways so I thought that was really nice of him and um, so even though the conference with Alex, Alec was so amazing I thought that I would focus this reflection on the medium, Glenn Klausner, because it was so fascinating to me and honestly an experience that I will never forget and I really hope to have conferences with more mediums and psychics in the future because it fascinates me so much and it's just really um, incredible to me what they can do. So if I'm going to be honest here, one of the things that I was like always skeptical about was mediums and psychics and um, people of that nature because um, you honestly don't know if like they're lying or not like yeah they say that they can speak to the dead they say that they, ha they have these special abilities they have a gift they can see things that mm, I guess normal or ordinary human beings cannot so I, you know, obviously when you hear something like that, that somebody can speak to the dead, obviously a lot of people aren't just going to take it and say, oh yeah, I believe it, it's true. Like, a lot of people aren't going to agree with that. They're going to have different opinions and, you know, they might be a little skeptical. And honestly, for me, in my opinion, I feel like I've always believed in spirits, I've always believed in ghosts, but like, you know, it's always been like, yeah, I believe in it like 99.9%, .9%, but like, what is there that like 0.1%, 0.01% that like... I'm skeptical about. Obviously when stuff is filmed and on TV, you don't really know what's really going on behind the scenes and what does the medium already know. Like it could all be, you know, just pretend. Of course, getting this conference with Glenn would definitely confirm or disconfirm whether mediums and psychics are real or not for me. So that's why I thought that this conference would be so incredible to experience because it would kind of show me if this gift that people have, per se, is real. Yeah, we started off asking questions, which I thought was cool. Um, I thought that it was interesting that um, somebody asked, can bad spirits or bad people that are dead come through? And like he said, that that doesn't really happen too often. Most of the people that talk to him are kind, they're good people, they have good hearts, good souls, they live good lives, so, you know, I think it would be very upsetting if I were a medium and somebody that was terrorizing me, who was dead, came to me, so very happy for Glenn that he doesn't have to experience bad dead people coming to him um, with his um, psychic abilities. I think what really um, stood out to me, like, he would just be answering questions and then all of a sudden he'd be like, hey, does anybody in this room, like, have a family member who has a pacemaker because their pacemaker is going through some complications and they might have to get it checked because something could seriously be wrong. And somebody, like, sure enough, in that room had a family member who had an issue with a pacemaker, which, like, completely blew my mind. Like, I don't know, like, it was really really creepy really weird to me but like what like how like that wasn't that wasn't even that was just the first thing like that wasn't even like what really blew my mind like danielle like she didn't have to say a word didn't have to say anything she never told him what her grandmother looked like never said anything to him about her, her grandmother never said anything never said a word never said a detail all she did was ask a simple question and while he was answering it he's like oh so who's that lady with the glasses or whatever the big funky glasses and she <laughs> started crying and like that's when you know it's real like tears verify the truth like let's be honest if something's truthful you're gonna cry you're gonna bawl your eyes out and that's what happened like danielle started crying and like that's when you know that whatever the psychic or the medium is saying it's true and it it's not a bunch of like lies and just things that he's making up as he's going and it's not fishing it's literally he knows the truth and like that's crazy to me that somebody can reach out to people who are dead and like 
they don't even have to know the person. He didn't even have to know Danielle as a person to come in contact with her grandmother. He could just find her and she found him, which is so crazy. And he even knew about how her dad was like wanted to be a park ranger exactly since he was 10 or 11. Like he knew it down to the age. And then um, Miss Medike, he knew how you wanted to go for your PhD and how you would be capable of getting it and that you shouldn't let insecurities or fear hold you back. Like he knew exactly what you wanted to do with your life, which is insane. And he knew about Gabby's grandfather, about Alyssa's grandfather, about her turtle story, her his background um, in World War II in Germany. He knew all these details that like is impossible to know just from a guess or like fishing or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, um, this stuff definitely blew my mind. I was not expecting to have such a deep conference and honestly it was only supposed to last one period but then it lasted another period and then it lasted half of another period which is insane and like honestly it was so worth it. I'm so glad I went to that conference. Um, it will always stick with me always be part of me like I don't know like something changed that day like I realized that like psychics are real and mediums are real and no matter what anybody says no matter who's skeptical like I used to be a little bit skeptical but for the most part I've always been pretty much a believer in spirits and things of that nature but now that's definitely been confirmed for me like I know for a fact that mediums are real psychics are real like I believe it 100% because of that conference that day and if we never had that conference I don't know where I would stand I actually wanted to ask him a question myself which I didn't get a chance to because a lot of people wanted to be involved in this conference because of course it was like sensational extraordinary conference and everybody wanted to get their questions in which i understand i'm not upset but if i had the chance i really would have liked to ask from my personal experience i know that cardinals can be seen sometimes as angels or like signs or symbols from the dead and my grandpa when he was alive he always liked the cardinals like um, sports team and he loved even just the bird in general he loved cardinals like cardinals were one of his favorite birds and i think i see them a lot i see them in my backyard my sister sees them on campus at her college at seton hall university and we kind of see them a lot um depending on the occasion so and um another thing that i see sometimes is dragonflies or um recently i've been seeing the number three a lot like I know that's kind of like maybe superstitious or whatever, but sometimes I think that numbers and things like that can have like significant meanings behind them and that there's a deeper meaning to it and it's symbolic in many ways. And honestly, um, I wanted to ask him like what that meant for me, why am I seeing these things, the cardinal specifically, and I'm sure he would have said that it has something to do with those who have passed in my family. So that would have been very interesting to hear about, but if we do get another medium, which I'm hoping we do, I'm definitely going to save that question and ask that for him or her, whoever it is that we may speak to. So I'm looking forward to that, and um, I think that's pretty much all the thoughts that I have, and definitely once the conference was over, you could definitely feel that the energy shifted, especially in the beginning of the video before. When our camera was having problems, I think it was a sign that there was so much energy in the room and that the camera just couldn't handle all that energy at one time, and especially because we were on a conference with a, with a medium and he can read us. Like, why else would there be static in the beginning and the video would be kind of weird, like cut out a little bit, like, you know? So I definitely think that was a sign. Like, I don't think that was coincidental. So that's just my thoughts on that. And um, I definitely think that there was definitely a shift in the energy because once the conference was over, everyone was leaving, it got quiet, and the room just felt different. Like it just didn't feel the way that it usually feels. Like, you know, usually going into that classroom every day, like normally going into that classroom, you know, it's fun. It's a fun atmosphere. Everyone's like, talking, everyone's having a good time, you know, we're watching a video, we're talking about field trips, like, you know, we're just, we're chilling, we're happy, we're having a good time. 
But after that conference, like, nobody wanted to say anything. We all just sat there and felt the difference in the atmosphere because there was a difference and there was a shift in energies and honestly, it's a feeling that is so different than anything I've ever experienced. So that was really, really cool, but also really strange. But you know, it was something that, like I said before, I'll never forget. And I just really liked the conference. So yeah, I mean, I think that pretty much draws a conclusion to my thoughts on this conference. Um, yeah, I definitely look forward to speaking to other psychics or mediums in the future. I think it'd be really cool to learn more about this stuff. I'm really into psychology and like thoughts and the brain. And it's interesting to me about how everybody differs, how some people can be skeptical and not even think these things exist. And then some people can literally speak to the dead and speak to ghosts and spirits and like have no doubt that they're real because they can literally speak to them so I think it's cool that there's like two ends to the spectrum and that you know I definitely am not a skeptic anymore so yeah I really enjoy the conference and that's all I have to say